Hello and welcome to Just 30 Minutes. I am Lillian Patrick. It's always a pleasure to have you join me on the show again. It's going to be an amazing day, yes, because I have a talented act in the studio. But before we go on, please let me go on a short break. And when I'm back, the fun begins. Welcome back. Like I said, in the studio with me is a creative guy. He's so talented. I am talking about Otto Lori Kenny De Peter, popularly known as Kenny Black. Welcome to the show, Kenny. Thank you for having me. You know, you are one of those people who have actually pronounced my name well. Are you over the years. Me? People used to spell my name Otto Lori. Otto Lori. Otto Lori. <laughs> but then you are getting there. I'm proud of you. Yay! Your okay, now let's talk okay. about let's talk about your outfit. You look good, you look dashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching my weight. That's Okay, so tell me what's your style of fashion? How do you define your own style? It's clothing. <laughs> Nobody wear your back clothes, your back clothes that way. But I guess um, sometimes I like to look. I like, my, my style of fashion is spontaneous. Okay. Sometimes I like to dress corporate, you know, just like to look a flash guy, black, black shades in my, you know, suits. And sometimes I like to wear agbada. A lot of people see me on agbada. And sometimes I like to wear anything. So my, my, my style of fashion is spontaneous. Mm. It can be it can be me. It depends on how I feel. I feel that morning when I wake up. So. Okay. So now let's go back to how you started as a comedian. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose comedy? I guess I didn't choose comedy. Comedy chose me. You know, just like ministry. <laughs> no, I, I all, all I wanted to do was to be a musician. Um, I started singing at the age of 12. I started going on stage with the Yoruba Juju band. Mm. And they would go for shows. And I was the student, I was the, I was the rag boy. I was the one who wore the band clothes. And we oh. trek. We're the first Star Trek. Like we trek. And start. <laughs> so we're trekking all over the world. Uh, you know, I remember, I remember one time. All over the world? All over the world. Because I used to think that from my house to... And it's all over the world because it's far. It's far like you're roaming around the world. So it that was how I started. And um, I, I used to sing. I used to tone songs to what I feel like. Mm. When we when, when we were less busy. So okay. 2008, somebody called me and he said, "Come in, there, come on. How do you see you? Why don't you do it on stage?" And I said, "Eh." So there was a beauty pageant called Miss Ejigbo in Ejigbo, and I was called to do hype man and also crack jokes. So there was a time the cast point, but the sound was on, and I was asked to just is there anybody that can entertain us? And I pick up the mic and I did my thing and that was how it started for me and we are here. Okay, so when did you start comedy professionally? Um, I would say 2009 when I got my first wedding and I was paid a huge amount of money. How much? 5k. That's a yeah. huge amount. Yeah, huge amount. Uh, they gave me 2.5 but because I ate at the reception I wasn't giving balance. So today I do it at reception because I feel I like with my balance. So that's it. So wow. I have to ask for rest, tell me. Wow, wow. So how would you rate your growth in the comedy industry? Wow, I would say I would say recommendations. Yes, mm. I would say um, I would say a lot of hard work. I'd say that um, you know. Now this is the story. Um, I've been doing comedy since 2008, going for shows, going for shows, trying to. A lot of people must have seen me in Muson Center, lobbying for platform backstage. You know, okay. uh, where. Igos, Igos did a show in Muson. Sometimes I was looking for backstage. I paid me perform, and after I performed, somebody else saw me. So I would perform for an audience of whites. No, why I perform? For, I perform for white people. Oh. I mean that I perform for empty white chairs, but I see them as people. <laughs> so, I perform for white chairs. So imagine where you are. Imagine you no know, at Muson Center when um, the main commanders are not there yet, but there are few people in the hall you don't want oh, to. Oh, like the show you. opener. Uh -huh. So uh. I was open at that time. I was never the drink. I was open at so, and I was it was them. I was cracking joke and they were sound checking the mic. Like again, one guy somebody said on two. Wow. Now, so the guy I go on two to can you keep talking? Your voice is getting better. I like, might sound checking. I might perform it. So it was crazy then, you know. But I I was in Ibadan for Lab Matters with Benga. I didn't get the force. I was not invited. It was supposed to be some other comedian. So these guys were not able to attend the event because they went for AY Live the mm -hmm. same day. And they were looking for them backstage and all that. So I was just looking at the stage manager. They were like, where are they? They're not here. I was like, like this. He looked at me. No, he knew what was in my mind. Mm -hmm. um, what was I doing? Kenny Black? Come on, I can do three minutes. I picked up the mic minutes, and yeah. I did 15 minutes and Alibaba gave me my first hand innovation. The Alibaba Junior was there. Oh. Start innovation from there to Alibaba January 1st. Alibaba January 1st, AY saw me and I did AY Live. There, Bros. Yours said, Kelly Black, ah, hey, you're here. Come on, go and do your stage. Uh -huh. I did your stage from your stage too. So it, it was, so I, I would say that um, hard work and 
consistency and the fact that I always going to give my best every time. Imagine I didn't give my best at that event, yeah. not knowing Alibaba was there. Yeah. What would have happened? So no matter the audience, I just give my best and we're still growing. We're okay. Growing now. Okay. So now talking about growth, you just sold out this. Your sold out your state of mind. <laughs> Wait, chill. Let me. <laughs> Go you on, just man. saw that Go your state on, of mind coming to show at the O2 Arena. Yeah. Like, tell me, how did this happen? Man, as in, normally when there's O2 in Lagos, it's really <laughs> <laughs> O2 to go. But, well, you know, I, I was, I went for a show in London. Okay. I, I was in, I was in Europe tour with, with Sheila and we were together. So somebody just called me and said, I can't believe I want you to come to London. We're in Italy. So you're coming to London. Ah, Italy to London is not far. Let me just, and I have my visa. Okay. Let me just go and just do this church event. And I did this CNS church event, and <clears throat> they lost me at Intercontinental. And this is Intercontinental. This is the O2. And I was with Shinoff Peters in that room. And he said, Kenny, what? What? O2 Niel. Muni, yes, sir. O2 2. Sit down the song. O2 Niel. Say down. I said, sir, I have done one thing. I wonder I'll do a show here. He said, ah, that's true. If you keep working now, you do a show there. So when I, when I all of them left, I knelt down. I said, God, one day I'll do a show here. And it was there for up to two years. I got a call from Smith and said, Kenny Black, I want us to do Kenny Black State of Mind. I said, where? Yeah. He said, O2. I said, ah, I cannot afford it. Even Kunle cannot afford it. Kunle afford it. So I was like, so why will you <laughs> allow me to do this event? He said, no, Kenny, we can do this. And the rest is history. I came, wow. I came, to, I came to the event center and the whole, you know, in, so white people came through for me, sold out, first com- former comedy show. Okay. You know why? It's, you know why I like it? Because... Uh-uh. There was no other person who was going to say, okay, I came because of this guy, people came because of me. And today I'm making the family part, I'm making comedy pro- comedy industry part. The greatest part was I was performing on stage and somebody just tapped me. And when I thought my back, it was Big Shark. I was like, wait, is this the same Michael Dapper? He says, yeah, and I was, no. I have pride now, but I don't want to use it. <laughs> people need it for the what's your, what's your biggest fear being a, a, a music comedian? My biggest fear being, a, I thought, you know, when I started, I was very, very young. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm still young, but I was younger than this. Like, okay. I was small. So, people judge the book by the cover. A lot of people see me and say, you can't do it. So, they, they, they made the decisions for me. They said, this guy will be scared to face this audience. This guy will be scared to face this crowd. And it was challenging for me. At the same time, those challenges were making me stronger. Why? Because when people were saying he was too young, yeah. others were saying, that young boy is doing something good. Mm. So, two things at the same time. And okay. I needed to choose one. So I needed to prove to these people that I can do. I needed to prove to the people that said he's too young to do. I needed to prove to them that these people are saying that this this young guy is doing better. So I need to bring these people together to these people and make them together. So I was I was scared that I won't be able to last in the industry mm. because uh, because if you're not doing stand up, if you're doing something different from the normal stand up comedy, it's new. People will eat it rush, but they say, uh, later later they were like, no, we're tired. Yeah. But with a lot of hard work, I was scared that at some point I will lose it. But I thank God for the fact that I'm able to improvise, to do different genres of music comedy. And today we are here, so my mm. fears made me stronger. Now, let's, let me ask you, do you see yourself doing music? I mean, just music? When I look at myself comedy. in the mirror, I see myself. But outside, I don't even see myself because uh, nobody can see yourself. Because if you see me, I see me, so I don't send you. So what I'm saying is that, what do you say again? You weren't listening. I thought I was, up, I was paying attention because it's that, I cannot pay for free. Okay, what well, do, do I see, see myself? Do you see ah, I'm an intelligent boy now. I don't tell you Get up. <laughs> You're not serious. You're not, you're <laughs> yeah, not but, serious. Yeah, what alumni say? <laughs> so, I, I say alumnus. You're not a good person. I know. So, it's, uh, do I see myself doing something else? Yeah, mm-hmm. I see myself going into the movie industry soon. Um, uh, I hope to pick up a form at the New York Film Academy soon to Yay. study you know, study a lot of things. So, um, I see myself doing entertainment basically okay. and, you know, if there's any need to move to diversify into other things, I will. Okay. But right now, I see myself doing show business and the team, and you know, have my own TV show, um, do interviews for a lot of people. So I want to explain people's film into fame, just like you have been able to explain mine. And they try for English. They but try. So I just give you. I mean, all the accolades. Now you get out. So you have pigeon like that. <laughs> like broken here. Yeah. But there's a broken pigeon in English. Go on. So do you write your materials yourself? Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. Um, because it's music, so I just write the story. It's crazy. We as music comedians, it's it's crazy when, you know, it it it, ha- it it's a lot of work. Okay. Um, you know, when you first of all need to get the story. Sometimes when we hear a song, people, people like me, when I hear a song, I'm like, okay, I like this song. Especially when the song is trending. 
I need to listen. I need to create a funny version of the song. Yeah. After creating a funny version of the song, I have to create a story around the song. Then look for the punchlines. So I write the punchlines down. Okay. I write the story down. Then in my house, I record the song. Now sometimes I record the joke and listen to the joke. So if the joke can make me laugh, then I'm not performing it. Okay. Because my first audience ever was my standing mirror. So if I can't make myself laugh, so I write the stories down and I record the song. Okay. All right. So someone asked this question because I, I, I put out a uh, word to people and they were like, someone actually said, is anyone in your life right now? Jesus since Christ you started with, since you started, have you ever thought of quitting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are many times when, you know. Which are you answering first? The uh, last question. The last question. Okay. We'll come back to the first one. Okay. I don't want anything to happen. After this, I mean, I will not say you're not doing it again. So, <laughs> so I like that. <laughs> Can you go on? You write your laugh down. Let's go back. <laughs> so, now, um, it's uh, I felt like quitting at some point because people came for me. People oh. came for me like people said, "You, I said, yeah, I'm musical, but like, you will not last though." You know, people oh. came. As in, people said words that were really harsh. People, especially when I had bad days on stage, people used the opportunity you to had, get at me oh, a lot. Oh, a lot. There were times I was performing on Somebody looked at me. Somebody said, "I'm not feeling your talent." Like I went back home, I didn't even cry, I only that's, shed tears. Because crying is there for shedding tears. When you shed tears, you cry. But let's leave that for another day. I don't even understand what I said. But I went back home and I was I felt really bad. I felt really bad. And I felt like giving up, you know. Okay. There were times where I would go for shows and they wouldn't let me perform. I felt like giving up at that point. There were times where I would go for shows and I would perform and I wouldn't, they wouldn't even give me transport fare. And I, I was not doing because of the money, okay. but because I just needed to be appreciated. Like I go back, my parents ask me, "Where are you coming from?" I said I'm coming from a show. Eh, so I don't know. I'm coming from a show. So I'm tired, and I still need to do house chores. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it was really, really crazy. Okay. But, but those those, those days are uh, days that I will look back on and I'll look and I'll say, God, it, it, it can only be God because I can't even explain my flame into film story. I can't even explain my rise to fame. It's it's if I right now if I look at if I look in the mirror. And feel like giving up. I look back at those who said to me, Can you black you're my you mentor? Can you black you have my room with you? Can you black I want to be like you? And I don't want to put those people to shame. I don't want to um, kill their down. dreams. So I just keep working hard. Okay, so my first so I'm trying to avoid it. So you just have to answer. Is there anyone in my life right now? See, there are a lot of people in my life right now. There are a lot of people in my life right now. I don't even know where to start from. See, in my life, my lifetime, Hi. I will give God my lifetime. Can when me? I give God my lifetime, he's always there. Oh, God. In my life right now, there is there is no bay yet. Because I'm scared of, I'm scared of, um, what in love with bay? So, boo will not come. I'm not going to be able to bay. Because boo and bay will go to a boo bay. <laughs> so, it's a boo bay something. So, uh, presently, I can't afford an emotional breakdown right now. Can't afford it. So you know stars don't shine with a broken heart. So I'm still looking for that one person that will come and capture my heart. Cause I don't ever have what I have is conscience because my heart don't fool. So they broke you broke my heart one time. Me? Yeah. How? My dreams. You told me you love me and you woke up. So it's it's okay. We'll come, back. <laughs> we'll come back to that. So there's presently right now, I'm still single. I don't know if I'm searching here, but I'm still working, but I want to fall in love with the ice cream musical, you know, the, the way they fall in love, all those kind of things. Nigerian love is expensive. You have to buy, buy, make their You have to have money. You have to, you have to have money. You have to paint their face, paint their leg, and everything. Poof and it. It's all, I love it. What's that? No, it's, what it's is love. that? It's love. What uh, is that? What is what? Moving on. Moving on. So, <laughs> <laughs> so my final question is this here: How do you, how do you intend to um, support uh, upcoming comedians? Okay, I started a movement in Ijibu where I come from called Making a Difference. It's called I Am Mad. I started that movement three years ago, three, four years ago, and I was like, okay, um, we'll do a concert where we we'll make money and take from certain percentage to the less privileged. And but basically, the aim is to bring talents together, talents around my neighborhood, okay. bring them together with the celebrities that I know and perform together and hope to have a lot of promoters there, a lot of show promoters there. So when they see that this guy is good, they can easily say, okay, man, this guy is good. I want to take this guy for my show. So we started that movement and 
uh, for some time we weren't able to do it because of finance, but we're coming back, we're coming back bigger mm. and better. Um, because I was about to ask you, so how Yeah, far? we're coming back, we're coming back. So we're coming back to do that, and uh, we should do that next year by God's grace in Ejibu, who have a lot of talent. So imagine somebody who is interested in becoming um, a TV presenter, and you see that person, and you see that goal. So there are times where you can just say, okay, come. Oh, okay, maybe. so it's just not, it's not just focused on comedy. No, no it's not it's just focused, focused on, on comedy. Every every everything, everything, team, everything. So okay. it's, 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 it's going to be super amazing. I just hope to, one of my, one, one of my dream in life is to make sure that everybody around me win. Because if, if I'm moving and they're not moving, then there's nobody moving. Okay. So if I'm moving, it means that they're moving me. So I need to carry them along. So yes. I want to carry the young, the old, the upcoming, everybody along. And let's, let's make a future together. Because okay, so I have this one final question here. Yeah. How, what, what would you say about comedians doing comedy shows like back to back every time, giving us the same content every time? Um, they are about to put me in trouble right now. Because, <laughs> you know, comedy shows, um, it's that was how people get to know me. I started begging for platform. But then, so okay. the day I started doing my own. Okay. So, comedy shows back to back, I think right now it's, it's kind of. Um, <laughs> for the Lord, my career. <laughs> But I'll say the truth. I think I think not everybody need to do sh a show. Okay. Um, some people are had to wait to when my career was able to do a show. Mm -hmm. I had to wait till when I don't need to introduce myself on stage. And shout out to a guy yo. When I wanted to do my show, he said no, not yet. Do your show when you go on stage without an introduction. Everybody knows you. Okay. So now comedy shows happening back to back every Sunday. It's our audience right now, they know a good show. So now people are scared of paying for a show that's not going to worth it. So it's having shows every Sunday. I think uh, we as comedy need to go back to our drawing board. Yeah. And look at what works for us. Like comedy shows now need to have a content filled comedy show because what we get to see is okay, this person is doing show. Mm -hmm. The same lineup, the same lineup. Following the setting the show, same following line up, up, following up, and our audience get bored and it starts yeah. to affect those that have good content and want to push out there. I am still young in the industry, I'm mm -hmm. still learning. But I think the few things I've been able to learn is the fact that Nigerians appreciate a very a good comedy show from the person doing the show itself need to be able to do 60% of the work mm -hmm. and the other just do 40%. So if you don't have that 60% to offer, you have that in the same lineup of comedy shows. And that's just the way it works. But I think we are getting better. We are getting better in the industry. You sure? I, sh that we, I think we are. <laughs> okay, guys, we still have Kenny Black in the studio. Do not forget, this is just 30 minutes. I'll be going on a short break. Please stick around. Welcome back. It is just 30 minutes. I still have Kenny Black in the studio. Jeez. And it's been so much fun. Now, this next segment is called Quick Five. You have 60 seconds to answer the questions. Let's go, let's go, let's Are go. You ready? Let's go. I'm ready. I definitely good. I'm not ready as I am, but let's go. Ready. Okay, your mentor in the comedy industry. Uh, my mentor in the comedy industry, I have a lot of them from um, comedy, basically, you know. I, I like Alibaba, okay. AY, Basket Mouth, um, Bovi. Mm -hmm. Keep a casting, which a lot of them, a lot of them. There's so many. So many. Outside I just said your mentor, not mentors. Uh -huh. I don't know. I, maybe the S was silent. <laughs> <laughs> I think my mentor in the industry would be Alibaba. Hmm. Okay. Someone who, despite um, being the king, still works on his craft and makes sure he gives to the audience 100%. So, okay. And comedy, he has taken comedy to another level right now. So Alibaba right. is my mentor. But outside the country, Kevin Manig, Kevin Hart, you know. Hmm. School or skill, which would you go for? I would go for skill because with skill I can build a school. Right, nice. Sir. Your celebrity crush? <laughs> celebrity crush? Don't talk to crow because the crush did not cross back. My celebrity crush right now should be Kemi Smalls. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you like them small? It's not like I like them small, I don't want to. <laughs> abba, abba. If, I, if I like them small, I won't be. Uh uh. You are baby boo. Okay, but on the normal day, my celebrity cross, I have two of them. Okay. I have Kemi Small. And there's one girl that I don't know if you know her. She works at your TV. Her name is Lillian. I'm You're not serious. I'm what's the What's the ever? <laughs> what's the ever? I can never have a cross on Lillian. She's too. She's not my, she's not my type, so. Kemi nice. Small is better. Because I'm already happy you don't. 
no problem. Nice, nice. What's the ever? What's the ever? What's the ever? Mm. But did somebody call me Liu Kesh? I'm what? finer than Liu Kesh. Wait, what's the like? how? how? God, okay, let me see what's the ever. Some people used to call me Liu Kesh tomorrow. I don't like it. Uh, what's the ever would be there I lost my mom. Yeah, oh. yeah. I was, I was, I was performing at a wedding. No, I was the host, so the couple just danced in. I made the couple just in, sat down, opening prayer, and it was time for the chairman to speak. And normally I don't pick my calls when I'm at the yeah. reception, but I had the Bluetooth. Yes, I just the call was coming back, but I just picked it. Like I saw my twins start crying. I heard my twins start crying. Ah, mommy, they cool. Like, oh my god! So at that point, I needed to choose between money, my mom, and doing my job. So I had to let mommy wait first. Then I have okay. to do the job. So it, really? was, so it was crazy, but we thank God. Okay, slim or curvy? Uh, curvy slim. That's not an answer. Slim case. Oh, you like slim girls? Yeah, I like slim girls who have got what they call sick for the kingdom. And every other thing shall be added on today. Hallelujah. Chicks, explain that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, 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 I love curvy girls. Curvy girls. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not like, I don't like, not like I like curvy girls. I, I like curvy girls. I, I never said curvy girls. Okay, now this next segment is called Riddle Me. I give you a riddle. Mm. You tell me what it means. That's like I should do ridicule me, so. Are you ready? I'm ready. What four letter word that ends in K means the same as intercourse? That ends with K. I mean, it's a four letter word that ends with K. <laughs> ah. It should be the F word. What's the F word? Ah, my pastor is watching. And it ends with ah. You have to tell me the answer. I don't know what F word is. Fuck me. That's it? It's that talk. Be, it's talk. Four letter words. Yeah. The end with. K. Means the same as intercourse. How can it be talk? What do you mean they talk? <laughs> which can't talk without? <laughs> which can't talk without? I'm going to talk about it. Ah. He's the same. He's what I'm saying. We'll talk about No, but it's talk. Talk with that. Can you talk? Can talk? It's it, it, not that it's boring. Ah, it's intercourse. You say sexual intercourse. I didn't say sexual intercourse. I said intercourse. Eh, uh, is it not the cause of the inter? Ah. I, said, I said talk, talk. Next one. Talk, <laughs> the F, the talk. Fuck, fuck. Fuck. That's good show. <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself. Are you ready for the next one? My generation must not watch this. Are you ready for the next I'm one? I'm ready. What does every woman have that starts with a V and that she can use to get what she wants? Yeah, I'm not. All right. <laughs> oh, this gets us sound new wrong. After you what? tell me it's virtue. But well, let me know. <laughs> like, it starts with V. It starts with V. Yeah. And they can use it to get what they want. What they want. Depends on what they want. Depends on what they're looking for. <laughs> I don't know what they're looking for. It wasn't that. stated there. Ah, who stated it? <laughs> the stater. No, the statist. <laughs> Hey, V. If I say what was my mind, now, you say I'm, you say. Please say it now. You do, you, might, you might be right. I might be. I might be wrong. 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 I and there's Vivian. <laughs> so you can get Vivian and get what you want. It should be the V I. Can I text you? No. Text send, them. I'll send it to you on WhatsApp. All of you should be. It's the V I. What? I don't know. Bandana. What has Vivina? Come on, the bar. The Vadana. Vadana. I'm getting there. I'm not. You have to say it. Vadana. Hmm? <laughs> Pastor, it's an interview. It's her vagina. Vagina. It's her voice. Yeah, man. <laughs> How? I can actually use my voice to get what I want. You know, right? Experience 2018. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was so much fun, right? That was so much fun. Did you have fun? Uh, <laughs> a generation. Did you, mm, who would have thought it was the boy? The guy is like, get what she wants. It's because your mind wasn't where you were supposed to be. Where was your mind? 
outside the country. I just got back. I didn't bring it. I checked my my, my mind in. I just said SS, SS luggage. So that's it. It's okay. Do you have more? No. Do you want me to get, give you more? Yeah, can you that I made my mistakes? Okay, what is what is long, strong and hard and has C U M? Alright, thanks for having me. <laughs> I really, really appreciate this. I thought, long, you strong, more. I thought you were more. Long, strong. And hard. And hard. It has C-U-M in it. C-U-M. In it. Okay. All right. You've been a wonderful... Thanks for having me. I can't really thank you guys enough for having me, so... That's not the answer. Let's sign out. I'm not even doing it again. You have to yeah. answer now. Answer? Yeah. Yeah. I What's think the answer? answer should be what it's supposed to be. What are you thinking it's supposed to be? I don't know. It's strong. Hard. Hard. Long, mm, long. Then has C U M in it. C U M. What C U M? C U M. What C U M? So, basically, that's it. I have it. What do you? Oh, you have it. Ah, uh -uh. everybody have it. So, do, so I, it, do I have it? Uh, I don't know. I have it. <laughs> but what I know, I'm sure that people, people that have, people that have human being, they have it. People that have human being, they have it. So, if you don't have it, you can Google it. Then but then, then I'm then. trying to figure out because of my figure, I cannot figure it out. Kenny, tell me what's the answer. Yeah, you might have it, but I don't know ah, what it is. It's not even might. It's a is is a need. To oh, have you it. have it. It's not like I have it. It's like you need to have it. It's like the house and have not. Is yeah, I have that. Just tell me the answer. Let me just. It's cucumber. Cucumber. Mmm, cucumber. Wait, it's not say cucumber. <laughs> it's I am you cucumber. <laughs> Cucumba, the cucumba. Hey, 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 umba. Cucumba. Which umba? Umba. But that wasn't what you wanted to say, right? Exactly, that was what was in my mind. Because you can't see my mind. You are lying. You are my mind. You are lying. Check it well, out. <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> That's in so much. You've been having so much fun, right? As in so much, Papa, from the last week. When my pastor was like, and he knows that. It's not like I have a dirty mind. It's also like, yeah, that sometimes, I told you, sometimes it can be. Alright. It can be what? Sometimes, it, as in this, this my kidney cannot assimilate. But all right now. <laughs> Cheat. Cheat. <laughs> so thank you so much, Kenny Black, for coming. But before I let you go, yeah, you yeah. have to do a freestyle for us. Yeah, you have to drop some cards. <clears throat> you know. I'm gonna drop in, in it. Don't know what kind of drop. Cheat. Yeah, no, I think I think um um the election is coming soon. Okay. So I feel like President Warren needs to campaign. Yeah, with a rap song. For example, your sample is at the back saying, It's your boy Harry, but you can call me Boo Boo. Because oh. the name is to be sexy. Yeah. Harry. Hey. Oh. But you can call me Boo Boo. And why we just hey. shout? Verse 1. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll shout. Please forgive me that word. When you say word. So many times you never arrived. You see, I live in. What? Maybe I'll shout. Oh, what? Please forgive me. What? So many times she never arrived to see I live in What? This is Nigeria. What? See I live in What? Almost a quitter, almost a quitter, was a gushaku with us in What? Chee! Chee! Election, wood, why? What? Yawa. Wow. Not too long. Like, well, I think you need to use that though if you want to make sure your campaign goes successfully. Well, but that, 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 that you come and meet me, we we'll write for them. Oh! Yeah, but to, 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 to make this election, I think we should just put everybody in the, in the house, like Big Brother. Then we should be beating them on my mother. Let's say, oh, uh, we'll why we are come to the diary room? Why are come to the diary room? Oh! Okay, it has been so much fun with Kenny Black. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank I really you. appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you, your TV. Okay, there we have it. It has been so much fun with Kenny Black. I'm sure you had fun to to get some more of this madness. Please head on down to our social media platform. We're on YouTube and Instagram at Your Niger Entertainment. And remember, your girl Lillian Patrick. See you on the other side. <laughs>